ಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರೇಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋದೇವಸ್ಯಧೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರೇಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋದೇವಸ್ಯಧೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓರ್ಭುವಸ್ವ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ವರೇಣ್ಯಂ ಭಾರ್ಗೋದೇವಸ್ಯಧೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ವೆಲ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ದುನಿಯಾನೆ ಚರಾಯೆ ಫೂಲ್ ತುಜೆ ಮೈ ಖುರ್ ಕೋ ಚರಾನೆ ಆಯು ದುನಿಯಾನೆ ಚರಾಯೆ ಫೂಲ್ ತುಜೆ ಮೈ ಖುರ್ ಕೋ ಚರಾನೆ ಆಯು ಹೇ ಗುರು ತಿಹಾರೆ ದ್ವಾರೆ ಪೇಮೆ ಸಭೀಲು ತಾನೆ ಆಯು ದುನಿಯಾನೆ ಚರಾಯೆ ಫೂಲ್ ತುಜೆ ಮೈ ಖುರ್ ಕೋ ಚರಾನೆ ಆಯು ಮಾಲಾ ಸೋ ಕಿ ಬನಾಯಿ ಹೈ ತಿರುಸಿ ಸಮಾಯಿ ಹೈ ಜನ್ಮೋ ಸೆ ಸೋಯಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಕೋ ಜನ್ಮೋ ಸೆ ಸೋಯಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಕೋ ಗುರುವಾಗ ಜಗಾನೆ ಆಯು ದುನಿಯಾನೆ ಚರಾಯೆ ಫೂಲ್ ತುಜೆ ಮೈ ಖುರ್ ಕೋ ಚರಾನೆ ಆಯು ಝೂಟಿ ಜಗ ಕಿ ಝೂಟಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಾಚಾ ಸುಖ ತೇರಾ ದರ ಪಾಯ ಹೇ ಗುರು ಚರಣ ಲಗಾಲೆ ಮುಜೆ ಹೇ ಗುರು ಚರಣ ಲಗಾಲೆ ಜೆ ಮುಜೆ ಚರಣೋ ಮೇ ಸಮಾಯ ದುನಿಯಾನೆ ಚರಾಯೆ ಫೂಲ ತುಜೆ ಮೈ ಕುರು ಕೋ ಚರಾನೆ ಆಯ ಮೈ ಖುದ್ ಕೋ ಚರಾನೆ ಆಯು ಆ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸನ್ ದಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಚರ್ಚ್ ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಚರ್ಚ್ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಮಂದಿರ್ ಪವರ್ ದಿ ಕೋವಿಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ when we have to like develop that inner strength why because we have to stay home and um we have to go to that inner strength so ami panavat ji would have said <coughs> what are real assets self confidence self reliance self respect that this is what makes us of assets or value and that self confidence self reliance these are internal strengths that comes within us and they come when we transcend the limitations you know when you are in spirit this morning let us pay adorations to the deity om ಧ್ಯಾನ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಪೂಜಾ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಪದ ಮಂತ್ರ ಮೂಲ ಗುರುರ್ವಾಕ್ಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೂಲ ಗುರು ಕೃಪಾ ದ ಡಯಟೀಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫರ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ದಿ ಗುರು ವಟ್ ಗುರು ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಗೌ ವೆನ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸಸ್ಟೇನ್ ದಟ್ ಹೈ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ he never falls like the human guru they rise from a level to intellectuality and little spirituality is there but uh, no man spirituality is there but um that's from a fallen state to the a realized state some make it and some don't make it but we are on the process of evolving to that perfection and um ಮಯಂತೇದಸ್ವ ವರ್ಡಸ್ವ ಚೇದ ವರ್ಡಯಾ ಛಾಶ್ಮನ್ ಪ್ರಜಯಾ ಪಶುಭಿ 
ब्रह्मा वर्च से नाना धीन समेधय स्वाहाइरमग्न ये जात वेद से इरम नाम माम लेट अस पे एडोरेशंस तो मा गणेश जी बिकॉज इन अवर हिंदू सिस्टम ही इज द वन टू बी वर्शिप फर्स्ट सो एंड बिकॉज ही रिमूव ऑल ऑब्स्टिकल्स बट गणेश जी इज द वॉइस दैट वी मैनिफेस्ट इनसाइड ऑफ अस that um you know he's that voice that is telling us guiding us not to do wrong things so if you want to worship ganesh ji listen to that inner voice magnify it oh my anta ida my atma jata vedas tinedha swavarda swacheda vardaya chashman prajaya pashu bhi brahma varchase anana dhina samedhaya swaha offerings to the fire agni deum this is for lord shiva and all the descendants and incarnations of lord shiva um so here this morning let's take a little break and admire the beauty of nature here the geese they've come they go somewhere else in the night but now here they are look at them they're going to be our audience this morning Francesco of Assisi he was a saint that would have spoken to the birds and they would come and listen to him and isn't this is a stark reminder look how they are very energetic they're frolicking in the water they're taking rest anyway lord shiva that uh, second time we chant that mantra and then we go again oh my anta irmay atma jata vedas tinedha swavarda swacheda vardaya chashma prajaya pashu vi brahma varchase anana dina samedaya swaha idam agnaye jata vedase idam namama well this one is for mother durga and the female deities mother lakshmi mother saraswati but then again we mother durga because she has no mother and father out of our free will she manifests herself from consciousness saving lord shiva and then we go to vishnu bhagwan oh my anta id my atma jata vedas tinedasva vardasva cheda vadaya chashman prajaya pashu bi brahma varchase anana dina samedaya swaha idam agnaye jata vedase idam namama oh lord all oh, vishnu bhagwan you are the receiver of this sacrifice this sacrifice this homa this is for you not for me this is my offering to you to say thank you for what you have given me oh and there we go to um surya narayan om ayanta idmay atma jata veras tenedha swavarda swacheda vardaya chashman prajaya pashu vi brahma varchase anana dhina samedhaya saha idam agnaye jata verase idam namam now we come to the beautiful part the manifestation of consciousness highest of this manifestation is fire sun and here we have sun and all the deities the nagrahas we have earth water fire air and space so let's do adoration to that the five murtis that is out there that we looking at and up there in the space we want to pay adoration because they sustain us so then we um this mandir is made up of those five elements and they're in us and also man, uh, animated by consciousness we are complete om purnamada purnamidam पूर्णात पूर्णमुदाच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमधाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्यते we came from that consciousness we are existing um as as a separate entity as powerful as that consciousness so this is that mantra remember when you chant that mantra this is what it is devote this morning i want to inspire you because i'm feeling good the breeze is going blowing nicely you see the ripples in the water the birds are enjoying it nature look at the sun reflecting on the trees over there now this when we are in spirit when we are we turn to that place of consciousness what does it feels like 
this is what I want to talk to you about. That when we are in spirit, we transcend the lower nature of God manifestation. This is the purpose of our life. So I'm going to have an energy with a said, what is the goal of life? Self-realization, universal emancipation. He came and he had that realization and universal emancipation. He took us there. The Christ came as that self-realized soul and he took so many to uh, God realization. He established the Christianity. The Buddha, he came as a Hindu and he, he realized that this uh, manifest universe is not the uh, end of everything and demonstrated through his austerity and he returned to that place of consciousness. From Siddhartha he came to the Buddha, the enlightenment. We should follow that path. He was a householder, so it is possible. Anyway, what it feels like to be in spirit, to be in consciousness. Your thoughts break their bonds. What that means? You crush your ego. Because the ego, you don't think about what you have, what you do, your reputation, what's missing in your life, how you're different from people. And most of all, you don't have that separation from God. You think you're different from God. So you talk, your thoughts break the bonds, destroy the ego. Your, your mind ex, um, transcends limitations. Look at here this morning. Look, isn't it that we transfer, uh, um, transcending limitations? We are not within our mind or body anymore. Look, we are thinking that we are the closest to God. We are gods and goddesses. This is what it means that the mind transcends limitation. Our consciousness expands in every direction. We realize that we have rediscovered that we are consciousness. I do the yoga every morning and I break the bonds. I the my the consciousness expand from tamasic waking up to rajasic, the yoga and the breathing and the exercises and then the relaxation, that's the sattvic. And then we exit the body. These three gunas that are innate qualities are left behind and I'm in the space, I'm in this um, con um, uh, art atmosphere and then you go into space and the body is left behind, the mind is left behind and the intellect is there and then when you go beyond the, the space to the vastness of consciousness that's all pervading, omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipotent, all powerful, omniscient, knowing the past, present and future. This is what it means by our consciousness expands in all directions and we are, we are here, there and everywhere. And this is, this is what it means that the, our consciousness expands in every direction. We find ourselves to be a great and wonderful world. Isn't it so? Look how beautiful it is this morning that we are enjoying nature. We are not stuck in a, in a mind that is so limited. And then we dormant forces, talents and faculties come alive. We become God-like. We think like God. And this is what then our what it feels like to be in spirit. And then we realize that we are far greater person than we ever dreamed to be. Ah, oh, Swami Panavanandaji, personal experience of mine, it is possible. I'm all over the world doing conflict resolutions, building ashrams for the needy, building schools for the for the learning, providing basic education basic needs, education, food, and this is all through the power of the spiritual masters because he's the one that is going to take us from this elusive mundane world and that is keeping us in a state of limitations and he's going to take you to that place of consciousness. He does it through miracles, taking me out one night and putting me at that plateau of God-realization. This is the grace of the Guru. It cannot be done by our, by, our, by our intellectual understanding, reading the scriptures. We have to internalize the scriptures. That when you become in spirit, you become the book. That Vedanta is not something intellectual, but Vedanta is a transmitted knowledge from the, from the gods and goddesses. That's why we transcend the books. So this morning, let us enjoy this this uh, beautiful
Sini Hui here. Let's all chant salutations. And we like to close with this bhajan. You know, this bhajan, people get confused when they listen to it. But for the sadhus, the realized soul is a constant reminder and a friend. And you, when I sing it, you'll understand. Aye bhi akela, jaye bhi akela. Do din ki zindagi hai, do din ka mela. Aye bhi akela, jaye bhi akela. Do din ki zindagi hai, do din ka mela. When I say this, the power of discrimination and dispassion is brought alive. These are the two ingredients that bring us on the state of um, realization. For sadhus, it's a reminder. Discrimination, choose what is right. Dispassion, don't live your life through emotions. Jinnike liye hai tune mahal sajai Matlab ke yaar sari sabhi hai parari Inhi ke liye hai kitna Tune do kajela, do din ki zindagi hai, do din ka mela. Don't get too attached to relationships and um, property because you're going to leave it all. The mela is just for a cup, a short time. But what are you going to have to say when you breathe that last bet? There's going to be one person out there with you, consciousness. And this is what we call realization. Ye zindagi hai pyari ek jhoot sapna Gairo ke dunia me sabhi koi apna Sab ki rahi ti hoi Main ho da kela Do din ke zindagi hai Do din ka mela Aye bhi akela Jaye bhi akela Do din ke zindagi hai दो दिन का मेला, दो दिन की ज़िंदगी है, दो दिन का मेला। This world is a dream, it's an illusion, it's false. Don't hold on to something that's temporary and false. Don't hold on to the magic and the illusion. Hold on to the what is real that was never created. Transcend this elusive world, the lower nature of consciousness, and go back to. Consciousness, your true identity. To these words, we pay adorations, and to all the deities, Son Panavananji, Krishna, Lord Krishna, Mother Durga, Lord Shiva, the Christ, the Buddha, and all the deity that you of your choice, go to that deity. Make sure it's a realized soul, not just a diksha guru, that keeps you on the plane of, um, of. of lower nature go, go to the guru that will take you but he has to have that experience he has to have the realization you can't give what you don't have choose a guru a, a realized soul a sat guru hari om shanti shanti hari om have a beautiful day and have no fear be happy